Hi and welcome, my name is Marcin and in today's video I'm going to show you how to even out skin pores. You see, the skin is very different. In uh, some people, skin pores can be very visible. Unfortunately, some other people have very strong skin pores. And of course, you as a photographer and retoucher might struggle with that. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get from this into this trying to preserve as much skin texture as possible. So I'm just going to remove this group at first and first thing we need to do, of course, we need to do some of the cleanup, removing the pimples. So I'm going to create the first layer, which I'm going to call cleanup. I hope I'm not talking too much, but there is a lot of complaint that you prefer to go straight to the point with the tutorials. To remove some basic spots, I'm using hard edged brush and healing, let's open healing brush tool. So this will be very simple. I'm just taking a sample just right next to it. And as you can see, I'm just healing the spots. How does it work? Healing brush tool, taking the texture from the area that is next to it and adjust the color that is around the spot. So that's how I'm working with this. We don't have that many spots over here. So I'm not really going to work that much because this is not the main issue that we want to resolve in this video. Okay, so let's change this into cleanup and we can move into the pores, you see there's many techniques. Some people using frequency separation, some could use inverted high pass. And in this case, every technique can be good and every technique can be bad. For this thing, I wouldn't recommend you to use anything that contains blurring skin texture. So if you're thinking to blur out the low frequency layer, I wouldn't recommend that. Though there is even easier method that you can do. I'm creating new layer and I'm going to call this cloning. Yes, you're right. I'm just going to use clone stamp. The one thing is you're going to change the flow into very soft. It might be around 5% because we want to just clone and softly cover the pores on the image. Another thing is we will be using soft edged brush. And yes, you might say it's going to totally destroy the texture. It might be right, though, if you're going to use, if you're going to be really delicate with this, you're just going to do fine. I'm taking the clone from the area that exists around and softly painting over. And yes, there is soft effect on the blur can be, but it's not so destructive. It doesn't blur out the skin in this case, actually, to make this look fake. As you can see, I just paint this softly on this and this suddenly looks so much better. So we can just clone and paint, clone and paint. And of course, I'm asking you to use very soft flow because if you're not going to use soft flow, um, you're just going to you won't have this sort of control. And also, other reason why I'm using soft flow is because it's going to be very delicate. That, that's the point. So you're painting over and looking till what point you want to get. The same over here. I could just softly clone over here, but not too much. And remember to take many, many clones, because if you're going to paint just over with one clone, you might go a bit too far. So this is, I believe, extremely simple lesson. And this is giving you opportunity of fixing this sort of things just in few minutes. You don't need any complicated techniques. You need clone stamp and soft flow and maybe good hand, I would say. You see, Photoshop is designed to make it simple. So everything can be done by simple techniques, not necessarily, it doesn't mean that if technique is more complicated, it's better. Let's have a look, our skin pores before and after. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for some premium content, if it's um, beauty retouching or actions, check, check that out in the description. Of course, um, I would need to thank you to my student who had problem with this image and asked me to help him with this image and also approve this to make a tutorial on YouTube for all of you to resolve your struggle with that. Thank you.